Since May, I've been on a quest to trade a single bobby pin for a house. In my last trade, I traded an iPhone 11 Pro Max for a 2008 Dodge Grand Caravan. Nora and Chu were wonderful. They documented their entire journey as they drove from Minnesota to San Francisco in two different cars. They drove all through the night and made it just in time to interview with me on ABC News and also to walk me through the ins and outs of the car. Even with the leak, I was really excited about the trade. It added to the excitement and the challenge. What made it even more challenging is that I don't have a parking permit to park in the city, so I only had three days before they would tow the car. I finally found a guy who was interested in the van and also had a friend who was a mechanic that could fix it for him after he traded me. By this time, I only had one day before the city would tow the car, so I knew I had to make the trade. I traded the van for a brand new boosted board, the V3 Plus, the latest version. Typically when I post these videos, I'm already a step ahead, so I've traded the item you guys are seeing. But this time, I want to do something a little bit different. I want to trade with one of my followers. So DM me on Instagram if you're interested in the board and let's get this house. Just trade for a MacBook Pro already? Okay. So let me tell you how it happened. Since May, I've been trading a single bobby pin until I get a house. I got up to a 2008 Dodge minivan, but it had a pretty bad leak. So I traded it for a booster board and then set off again to get something even better. After finding someone who wanted to trade, he packaged it up and shipped it from Oregon to San Francisco. So the package arrived. MacBook Pro 15 inch in the box. Just as expected. This MacBook is much newer than the one I had a few trades ago, and it's still in the box. Shoot me a follow and let's get this house. I'm trading a single bobby pin until I get a house. And this trade is my biggest yet. Last trade, I traded a boosted board for a 2007 MacBook Pro. And for a week and a half straight, I went and looked at tons of possible trades, even looking at two vans, both that were in pretty bad shape. After days of searching, I finally found someone on Amazing. Facebook Marketplace and gave them All a right, call. All right, I look forward to it. That's how it's done, folks. What was pretty amazing was that the guy I found didn't just own the item he would trade, but he worked at the company that makes so, them in LA. For everyone, we have rented a pickup truck. That tells you a little bit about what we're trying to trade today. It's gonna require a pickup truck. So we drove six hours to LA to meet up with Sean and Ferris and make the trade happen. We're sitting outside of the warehouse where this is actually getting built. They're putting on the final touches. We've not seen anything yet, but we are really excited. This trade really helped me get closer to the house. Part two will be out this week, along with the winner of the giveaway. Leave your guesses in the comments and let's get this house. Hi, I'm Demi. If you haven't been following along, I'm trading a single bobby pin until I get a house. In the last episode, I was trading a 2017 MacBook Pro for something huge. Now, for the reveal. This $4,000 electric bike food cart was an amazing trade. It's fully electric and is perfect for a small business owner looking to sell on the go. See you guys later. While I was at the warehouse, I even got a tour of all the other bikes for LaCarrie's. Once I got the bike loaded up, I headed to the beach to try it out before heading home. This trade, worth around $4,000, is getting me so much closer to the house. Shoot me a message on Instagram if you want to trade, and let's get this house. Oh, and the winner of the MacBook giveaway, with tons of likes and a great story, is Lindsay and Troy. Congrats. Three months ago, I started my quest to trade a single bobby pin until I get a house. How do I do it? With each of these trades, I'm increasing in value just a little bit. Most recently, I traded a MacBook Pro for an electric bike food cart. After finding someone in North Carolina who was interested, hey, okay. amazing. I packed up the bike and shipped it across the country, trading it for a 2006 Mini Cooper convertible. In just three months, I've gone from a bobby pin to a $6,500 car. Make sure to like and follow to see what I trade for next and let's get this house. I'm trading a single bobby pin until I get to a house. If you haven't been following along, check out the last 18 trades and get caught up because this one is huge. In my last trade, I traded an electric bike food cart for a Mini Cooper convertible. After looking for quite some time for the perfect trade, I finally found Corbin, but she was four hours away from where the car was. So I called in the Trade Me Project family to see if anyone could help me drive the car halfway. And then I found Madison. Here's where the plan gets crazy. Madison would drive three hours from Charlotte to Wilmington, pick up the car from my friend Christina where it's been for the last week and a half, then drive to Rocky Mount, North Carolina to meet Corbin where she had driven from Richmond, Virginia to Rocky Mount. After a long day of driving, Madison successfully got the car to Corbin and had her sign the title. So it's officially hers. Now for my end of the trade. This is the most valuable item I have had thus far. It's currently in the mail. So the second it gets here, I'll make a new video. Special thanks to everybody who helped out today and let's get this house. Hi, I'm Demi. In May, I started my quest to trade a single bobby pin until I get a house. Last trade, I had a Mini Cooper convertible, 
And today, I got the trade for it in the mail. All right, so the package just got here. I could not be more excited to open it. So let's do it. It is a diamond and sapphire necklace worth, according to a jeweler, $19,500. Insane. This necklace has one giant sapphire and 127 individual diamonds, adding up to 7.38 carats. This is definitely gonna be my hardest trade yet, so let's blow this video up, and more importantly, let's get this house. Since May, I've been trading a single bobby pin until I get to a house, but in my last trade, I made a serious mistake. I traded a Mini Cooper convertible for what I thought was a $19,500 necklace, but in reality, after trying to trade it, I realized it wasn't what I thought at all. This guy had to back out after the jeweler told us the difference between the appraised price and the real retail value. Ended up not being the price that we were hoping to get. I then went to tons of jewelry stores to have them look at the piece a little bit closer and let me know what the retail value actually was. All of them, after going to about 10, said it was about $2,500. So I spent the last two weeks looking for a trade around something in that value and finally found Sam. So I traded him the necklace for a brand new Peloton V3. After getting it in the car and driving it through San Francisco, I finally got it home. So what now? This is definitely not where I thought I was gonna be, but I'm not giving up. My goal is to get this Peloton to Paris Hilton. So like, share, comment, mention her, let's get her attention and let's get this house. Hi, I'm Demi. I'm trading a single bobby pin up until I get a house. I've made 23 trades, with my most recent trade being a diamond necklace for a Peloton workout bike. After finding a possible trade, it ended up falling through, and I had to start all over again until I found Casey. Since Casey was in Seattle, we got on FaceTime and chatted, and then had my friend Laura pick up the trade. After shipping the Peloton to Seattle, Casey and Laura met up, making the trade for a Ford Mustang GT Deluxe. I'm so excited about this trade. We've had our ups and downs, but we're finally back on top. So what's the game plan? I'm gonna keep the car in Seattle and trade it from there. But if you wanna keep following along, shoot me a follow and let's get this house. Hey, it's me, Demi. The girl trading the bobby pin all the way till I get to a house. I've got a trade update. My last trade was a Peloton exercise bike for a Mustang. And while the Mustang was great and an awesome trade, it was a 2006 and had 204,000 miles. So definitely an older car. After looking around for the perfect trade, I found Caitlin and shipped the car from Seattle all the way to Pennsylvania. Because I'm in San Francisco and the car was now in Pennsylvania, I called on the Trade Me Project fam to help me pick up the next trade. I found Shannon and her brother who drove an hour and a half to pick up the new trade. I traded the Mustang for a 2011 Jeep Patriot Sport with only 145,000 miles. This car is beautiful and it came all from a single bobby pin. If you're interested in making a trade, DM me on Instagram, like, comment, and share, and let's get this house. After six months of trading a single bobby pin until I get a house, it finally happened. In my last trade, I traded a 2006 Mustang for a 2011 Jeep. And after looking for the trade, I finally found it within the same city. So I had Shannon drive the Jeep over to Austin to make the trade. I traded the Jeep for a brand new Wildbound Tiny Cabin. The trade really is unbelievable. Austin and his team at Wildbound Cabin Co. actually make these tiny cabins to go on trucks or trailers and even convert vans. After I saw one, I knew I had to make a trade. They are beautiful. On the inside, this tiny home has a bed and a mattress with storage underneath, shelving, indoor lights, countertops, everything you would need. While technically it's not the house, it's definitely a step in the right direction. Thanks to everyone who's been here since day one, and more importantly, let's get this house.